Today, I'm headed to my first ever UFC event live in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. We'll be sitting front row cage side in the first two seats in Section C. The tickets come in a VIP package, and with this, we'll have access to things like going on the stage during the fighter weigh-ins, an autographed frame fight card, custom fight kits, and private transportation. There's a chance we'll get to meet some of the fighters. There's a post-fight octagon tour. There's even a rumor that you get to meet Dana no whites. Two tickets for this event come to a total of $46,747.22 Canadian, which is roughly $35,000 American. Holy smokes! Yeah, that's a lot. That's, that's definitely a lot. This is my first UFC event I've ever gone to, and it's gonna be great because we're sitting front row cage side. Donald Trump is supposed to be there. Yeah, the former president guy. Build that wall! Shout out to Fungus' mom. She paid for everything. I can't believe this. I'm not making this up. Fungus and I both had to get a background check for this event because we're sitting so close to Trump. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get to go to the press conference as that is today. I didn't really want to fly in a day earlier. Would Brock Lesnar be there? Sorry, I had a dream about Brock last night. Did you see his daughter? Wow. Either way, I gotta catch a flight in an hour, so let's head to Vegas. Oh, why do I do that? The flight from Halifax to Las Vegas is about nine hours, including layover. And apparently flying has its charges as well, as it costs $7,300 for a round trip. Yeah, I probably don't need the bougie bed seats, but my ass hurt. But I'm more concerned about what the hell a 9-11 security fee is. I'm paying $7.77 for an event that happened 22 years ago? Fungus' mom did not pay for this portion of the trip, so... Timmy Rowling. And just before we start today's video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, DraftKings. Guys, I'm currently in a corn maze. But that's not gonna stop me from getting my football fantasy picks in with DraftKings. They got a great deal going on right now that you don't wanna miss. Right now, new customers can play free for a shot at their share of millions in total prizes with their first deposit of a minimum of just $5. That's right, only $5. To play, all you need to do is just draft your roster and the players that you pick will earn points based on their in-game performance. It's really that easy. So what are you waiting for? Download the DraftKings app now. New customers use promo code TROYDAN and play for free for your shot at millions of dollars in prizes for just a $5 deposit. Again, that's promo code TROYDAN only at DraftKings. And again, a thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. Boys, look at this house. Yo, this tree looks like a pineapple. In fact, I think it... I think it is a pineapple. I thought it was fake. This one looks even faker. Apparently grass is illegal in Vegas, so they have turf everywhere. Yo, what's going on, Eddie? Viva! Hey, I was up there. What are you doing here? Uh, I was about to hop in the pool. We got a volleyball court for the volleyball players in the world. Yo, who's that? Is that Donjay? Yo, Donjay, spell cancer. It's so bright out here. It's pretty nice. Scenic, actually. Fungus. Yo. You ready for the weigh-ins? Yes, sir. What's on your shirt? Azbula, baby. Oh my Azbula. god, let me zoom in on this. Do you think you could take him in a fight? Oh yeah, I would take anyone in a fight, like I said. Neon fucking, especially that little fucking <laughs> neon fucking <laughs> man keeps stuck in my DMs and shit, that little Dude, <laughs> <laughs> Fungus, this is a PG video. Oh shit, <laughs> 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 I'm just excited, man. The fucking <laughs> weigh-ins, bro. Get to see Joe Rogan. Oh? I see some grass. Oh, that's illegal here. Yeah, they're going to jail. I'm a rat. What's hey guys, up? Jesse Jalapeno. You just woke up. Woke up at 2 p.m. I love UFC. <laughs> Patty the Batty. Who's your favorite fighter of all time? Patty the Batty. Oh, hey, it's my lawyer. What's up, Icarus? Hello there. How are you today? I'm not doing bad. What are you doing over here? Doing some... I, yes, I'm doing some research, some homework, as you would call it. With all these aggressive men going around there, someone's liable to put their hands on you. You do have a punchable face. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. I mean, you do. I have a punchable face? I... So I'm currently at the Airbnb, but we're about to head to the weigh-ins. About 30 minutes from now, it starts, and we're just waiting for our ride. Oh, I got you an early Christmas present. You got me a Christmas present? Yes. What I is it? What, who is that? Uh, it's the juice. The, 
You got me an OJ Simpson jersey? The juice is loose. What? Did you get my size? I think so. Hell yeah. Does it fit? Oh yeah, it's perfect. The private transportation was only supposed to be for me and Fungus, but the driver really didn't care about nothing, so he said my friends could jump in the back. We drove to what I thought was just the weigh-ins, but apparently it was also an early press conference for the next three UFC main events. I were waiting, I think. We're out here, at least. Already. Yo, Fungus is here to grab, grab one of those titles. <laughs> As we waited for the event, the Nelk brothers decided to show up and give out some hats. And we kick things off with a championship double hat. Hey, Here is the hey, winning champion of the Now the division. Please help. Hey. Sugar Sean O'Malley. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, f***ing Brandon. <laughs> his skills he needs to uh but uh, i believe that i'm going to be uh you know uh teaching him a, a lesson in uh, february i can't wait to do it and This press conference escalated very quick. Man, you fucking laugh, you fucking Yeah, oh, I got a nerve. I see, I hit a nerve. I mean, don't waste your fucking ankle, you fucking coward. Oh, man, that's so All right, guys, I'm gonna oh. spread this day back. Words were said that I haven't heard since the 90s. So Data decided to end the press conference early and line up the fighters for a face-off. USA! 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 After the face-off, they cleared the stage for the ceremonial weigh-ins. Some fans wanted a photo with Fungus. They then brought us to the stage, and let me tell you, this was incredible. When they said we were gonna have stage access, I thought we were gonna be like on the side or something. No, I was standing there dead center next to Joe Rogan and Dana White. Easily one of the coolest things I've ever done. To give you an idea how close I was, here's a photo taken during this interview. Absolutely crazy. After the weigh-ins, they led us backstage. I didn't really know what we're doing there, but then they told us we're waiting for someone. What's up, bro? Thank you so much. Doing bone broth with you. Are you really? Yes. I'm doing it again on Monday. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna start again on Monday. Oh, good shit. I fucking love it. I told Dana White I was gonna do the bone broth fast. No joke, he took time to explain the entire fast to me. He even insisted on me recording him so I have all the correct information. Come out of the fast. Um, the first thing you drink, your first meal should be a shake, right? So do um, coconut water. You're gonna feel incredible. And then, so do a before picture before you do it. And then wait an hour and a half after you drink the shake and do your after picture. You will be fucking ripped. I'm doing good, man. I just met Dana White. Isn't that crazy? He's still behind you. <laughs> after we met Dana, a few other fighters showed up for pictures with fungus. We were then sent to the bar for the UFC VIP experience. There were a few fighters there, but I was really sad because I had just missed Chuck Liddell. He left five minutes before I got there. Good morning, Las Vegas. I don't know what's over there, but it is sketchy. So I just woke up, but the fights start in an hour, so I got a chance to take a quick poop and get my parlays in. Gotta have my parlays. It wouldn't be life without them. But yesterday was absolutely crazy. I cannot believe we were on the stage. That Joe Rogan was next to me. He looked at me and went, wow. And I went, wow. Who do you got, Leon or Colby? I got Colby Covington, Donald Trump, MAGA. Who are you betting? 100 on Edwards. 
I want Colby to win, but I think he's gonna get, get kicked in the head. So they gave me this duffel bag, but I, I, who is Troy Dan McCall? All right, let's open this up here. Hopefully there's some, uh, you know, gloves in here. Maybe uh, some juice. Ooh, what do we got? Got myself uh, a water bottle. Let's go. Our fighter kit. Oh, wow, it's the whole thing. They got my name on the back of it. Oh, that's nice, boys. So got another UFC fighter shirt. Right, ooh, fighter shorts. Got ourselves a, a nice hat. I don't know if I could take this on a carry-on, but I'm gonna figure it out. Kobe or Leon? Uh, Kobe. Kobe? Yeah. Woo. When we got to the event, we were ushered to the VIP lounge. They had unlimited food and beverages. And you can also watch the fights from the lounge. But I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time there because the prelims were about to start. And the next champion! Three, two, one! They then walked us down to our seats. Heard a couple Troy Danners in the crowd. We're in our seats. Uh, we're a little early, but, um, you know, at least we're here. <laughs> Fairly close, I would say. Now even though we were front row, there's technically a few seats in front of us. Some are for judges, commentators, some of them are also just for Theo Vaughn. The fights then began, and that's when I really took in how close these seats are. I haven't been this close to a fight since high school. Already 0 for 1 on best. Not good, not good at all. The fighters entered on the opposite side of the octagon that I was on, so it was a little bit harder to see them in their entrance. for one on bets. Break it even. We're gonna do this. Yeah, and that's probably the last time I'm gonna talk about my bets. I went on a losing streak that would make Tony Ferguson jealous. Tony! 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 Oh! Let's go! Oh! Fuck it! Let's fucking go! Yeah! Oh! Then out of nowhere, Donald Trump decides to show up. He was sitting just to the left of me, and let me tell you, this crowd exploded when he came into the arena. Trump is here. He's right over there. Right over there. It's crazy. Tony. I think that was the last time we're going to see him. Ah! 
Sean Strickland got kicked out of the arena for getting in a fight in the crowd. Unfortunately, I was on the other side of the octagon, so I couldn't actually see. <laughs> Survive four more seconds. This fight sucked. The crowd started off pro Colby, but by the end of it, they completely switched sides. Colby is getting his ass kicked. Four rounds are going to the fifth. Every other fight before this was good, but this one was not good. Yes, I bet on Colby. Still doesn't change that the fight sucked. I saw the other four guys sitting up in the stands, and I was able to meet some of the fans. Once the event ended, we had to wait around 20 minutes for them to clear everyone out before we could have our octagon tour. <laughs> I can see some of the blood here. Look at, look at the blood. For real, whose blood is that? Is that your blood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fighter. Ah, ah. in the middle. They only let us spend a few minutes in the octagon, but I got to see some blood. Good enough for me. And just like that, we are out. Out of here. Can y'all ever secure my bag? <laughs> that's all I gotta say. That's cool. Hell yeah. I yeah, I know. That's when I broke up and wrote you, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> so we just got back from UFC 296. I'm in the Airbnb, and I'll be honest, it was a great card. There were great fights on it if you take away the main events. That main event sucked. That was not cool. I, I feel really bad. 
for anyone who bought that one. That was terrible. How can Colby say all that stuff and then come in there and do nothing? He did nothing at all. The seats were great. I mean, any closer and we'd be sitting where Dana White and Donald Trump were. We were right there. There were just a few commentary people like Joe Rogan and DC in front of us. Other than that, I mean, we were damn close. Also, Theo Vaughn was sitting in front of me. I could smell his mullet. Smelled like tobacco. I loved it. This was a great experience. One that I will never forget. But I am exhausted. I need to sleep right now. Guys, thank you for watching. And as always, keep your stick on the ice.